With so much going on in the world of Brexit, it's easy to lose track of what's happening and what's significant. One topic that's been getting a lot of attention is MPs' attempts to try and block a no-deal Brexit. MPs are trying to prevent a no-deal because the majority of MPs have never been in favour of a no-deal exit, believing that such an exit would cause significant damage to the UK. In this video, we're not going to discuss whether this assessment is right or not, or whether a no-deal exit could be good for the UK. Instead, we're going to look at MPs' attempts to block a no deal, and the bill which passed into law yesterday. This is something we discuss more in our podcast, along with a bunch of other interesting topics. Don't worry, none of that will be included in this episode, but if you do want to check it out, there's a link to the podcast down below. We're still in the process of getting the show listed on all platforms, but there's a link to the YouTube channel and a webpage where you can find the latest list of where the podcast is available down in the description. Oh, and there's also an RSS feed on that page, so you can chuck that link into a whole bunch of podcast apps. Anyway, on to this video. As I mentioned a moment ago, MPs have never really liked a no deal, but attempts to block it have increased in volume since Boris Johnson has become the UK's Prime Minister. Johnson claimed to be okay with no deal ever since his candidacy, believing that no deal should be used as a negotiating tool to try and get the EU to cave in negotiations. Some have even claimed that Johnson isn't just using no deal as a negotiation tool, and that he actually wants a no deal exit instead of a deal. So to try and stop this, MPs have attempted to legally prevent Johnson from going for a no deal Brexit using the Ben Bill. Last week, MPs voted to take control of the schedule of the House of Commons. Then they used that time to debate and pass the bill through the House. Then the Commons handed the bill back over to the House of Lords, who also debated the bill and then handed it back to the Commons. If all that passing around sounds confusing, we have a video which explains how laws are passed in the UK, and there's a link to that down below. Essentially though, the MPs in the House of Commons and the Lords in the House of Lords have agreed to the bill, so then it was taken to the Queen for her to grant royal assent, essentially passing the bill into law. This happened yesterday evening, which means that as of that moment, the Ben Bill became law, making it harder or impossible, depending on who you ask, for the Prime Minister to seek a no-deal Brexit. So let's take a moment to refresh ourselves on what the Ben Bill actually does. The bill requires the government to do one of two things. Either reach a new deal with the EU by the 19th of October, or get Parliament's approval for a no deal by the 19th. If the Prime Minister fails to do either of those things, the bill would require the government to request an extension from the EU, with the bill suggesting that the new deadline becomes January 2020. Ultimately, it will be up to the EU to choose the new date, but the Commons does get to approve the date that the EU picks. So now it's up to the Prime Minister to either reach a new deal that Parliament likes in the next month, or suddenly persuade Parliament to accept a no deal. Another option that some are floating is that Johnson could work out a way to get around the law, or to simply break the law. This is super risky ground for the Prime Minister, but people have formulated a whole list of ways that the PM could break this law. If you want us to dive into that further, let us know by liking this video and commenting down below, and we'll get to it in a later video. This all leaves the Prime Minister in a sticky situation. He's unlikely to reach a new deal with the EU in time, and he's very unlikely to persuade Parliament to accept a no deal. Because of the Ben Bill, if he can't do either of those things, he has to ask for an extension. So to get around that, he proposed a general election, in the hopes that he can win the majority, and then legally get around the Ben Bill. But MPs rejected his calls for a general election, with the latest vote failing last night. So it seems like the only real option he has left is to either ask for an extension, or to find a way to break the law. The latter looks more likely though, with number 10 telling journalists yesterday morning that the Prime Minister is not going to seek an extension. Number 10 went on to say, if MPs want to resolve this, there is an easy way. Vote for an election, and let the public decide. However, as we said, to the Prime Minister's disappointment, later that day, they voted against his election for a second time. Order! Order! Eyes to the right, 293. The nose to the left, 46. Well, that's less than the mask. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So the eyes have it, the eyes have it. Uh, however, I say by way of explanation for those who observe our proceedings, and the, the nods suggest they're well ahead of me, which I would expect, the majority does not satisfy the requirements of the Fixed Term Parliaments Act for the purpose of engendering the election that some seek. This marks the sixth vote that the Prime Minister has lost in his time in office, an unenviable record. With MPs not sitting again until mid-October, this completely rules out the potential for an October election, and makes the earliest Thursday the election could be called on November 21st, way after the current Brexit deadline. 
So the paths ahead don't look good for Johnson, with few positive routes left for the PM. As I said earlier, if you want us to explore the eight ways we think that Johnson could get around MPs and still go for a no deal, then let us know by liking this video and commenting down below. For more on this and all of the other drama, check out the latest episode of the podcast, linked down below. While you're at it, if you want to be updated on our latest videos, then be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. You can also hit the bell icon if you want to be notified every time we release a video. Also, if you want more of us, you can find TLDR across all social networks simply by searching for TLDR News. And if you want your name featured at the end of the videos, just like these people, then you can back us on Patreon. There's a link to that in the description.